Grace to you and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. This day, October the 18th, in the church here, is the day that the church has set aside for thousands of years the celebration of St. Luke, who wrote the Gospel that bears his name and the Book of Acts in the New Testament. So here's a brief history lesson of St. Luke. Very brief history lesson. As I said, he authored the Book of Luke, the Gospel of Luke, and the Book of Acts. And that makes up 25% of the New Testament. So one author wrote 25% of the New Testament. Must be important. He is also thought to be the only Gentile author of the New Testament. All the other authors were of Jewish origin and converted to Christianity. Luke may have been a Gentile, a Greek person who converted to Christianity. Luke is one of the 70 or 72 in some translations that is recorded in Luke chapter 10, our gospel lesson for St. Luke Day. And he was a doctor, according to Colossians 4.14, where St. Paul writes to the church at Colossae that Luke was the beloved physician, and he cared for people's physical needs with a sense of urgency, and he cared for people's spiritual needs with a sense of urgency. Now, Jesus himself also has a sense of urgency, as recorded in Luke chapter 10. If you look at verse 2 of chapter 10, where it says that Jesus said to the disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Earnestly, with urgency, Jesus wants them to pray. And then he goes on to give them certain instructions that also convey a sense of urgency. Like, don't take anything with you. Look at verse 4. Carry no money bag, no knapsack, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Jesus is conveying to them a sense of urgency. And these specific instructions are because... They are to tell other people about Jesus, which is so very, very important. So Jesus sends out the 70 or 72, whichever translation of the English that you're reading, this particular text. And then right away, it's, it's a short verse, verses later after he sends them out, that they return with joy. Another sense of urgency in Luke's Gospel. He gets right on to the rejoicing that the 72 came back doing, that there was so much to rejoice about. Now, why this sense of urgency? Because telling the good news about Jesus, or in the words of Jesus in this text, the kingdom of God is near, is literally a matter of life or death. People need to know this good news so that they may live and not die spiritually and eternally. Now, Jesus had a sense of urgency during his earthly ministry, but also just in his very makeup. He gave up heaven and earth to come to earth. There's a sense of urgency. He also gave up his life on the cross because salvation is so urgent. He gave up the grave so that we too can rise from the grave one day. And then he sends out his church, 72 in Luke 10, the entire church, which includes you and me, into all the world with a sense of urgency. Now the temptation is to actually not feel a sense of urgency, but a, a feeling to feel a sense of indifference. I'll do it tomorrow. We put off telling other people about Jesus, or we feel like we're not really prepared. So when I'm prepared, or when I'm ready, I'll tell other people about Jesus. That's a sense of indifference, not urgency. Then, something that pastors hear a lot, it's the pastor's job to tell people about Jesus. That also is a sense of 
indifference. But Jesus calls us to urgency and not indifference. To gather together as the church in worship, which has been difficult to do during the pandemic, but even now we are rejoicing because our prayers have been answered that we are able to gather together once again in worship, more and more. We gather together as brothers and sisters in Christ to pray. Remember our theme for this year, pray without ceasing? And we gather together to work. Here at St. Matthew, there are various groups that gather together to work with a sense of urgency. Our early childhood center to tell little ones about Jesus and all the other things that go with living in this creation of God. Our sharing the joy ministry, which provides meals, blankets, and special uh, things for people to get through this life with a little bit of peace and comfort and knowing about Jesus. Our Lutheran Women's Missionary League, which we celebrated earlier in October, their sense of urgency is to tell other people about Jesus and to equip other people to tell other people about Jesus. Let's go back to St. Luke for a moment then. He was one of the 72 that were sent out to where Jesus himself would go later. And so he witnessed this wonderful outpouring of the Holy Spirit that they come back and rejoice about. That even the demons were subject to to them in the name of Jesus. After Jesus' ascension into heaven, St. Luke probably went back to his hometown, we think may have been Troas, which is built on the ruins of Troy, and there met Paul on one of his missionary journeys, and then he traveled with St. Paul, as we hear about in 2 Timothy, that he's actually with St. Paul at the time. And then St. Luke told the story about Jesus, starting with a couple months before Jesus' birth, all the way to his ascension in the Gospel of Luke, and then in the first chapter of the book of Acts. And he calls us to be a part of the church, St. Luke does, in telling us the book of Acts, the history of the early church, that we would have the same sense of urgency to tell other people about Jesus. So it is the prayer, and it is the urging of your pastors that you have the same sense of urgency to tell others that Jesus is Lord and Savior. We need that sense of urgency because people need to hear it in their lifetimes and have a personal relationship with Jesus that the Holy Spirit will give to them, working through us, through the means of grace, because it literally is life and death. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for a sense of urgency in telling the good news about Jesus. I pray that all who are watching this and all who are hearing these words will be motivated by the Holy Spirit with a sense of urgency to tell the good news about Jesus in whose name we pray. Amen.